haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of Bing Civil, a complete civil engineering tutorial channel. Happy learning! Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. Today, we will do an example of shear stress distribution of a beam with rectangular cross section. Those who have not seen the video on the derivation of shear stress formula of a beam, I suggest you first see the video and then come back to this example. The link of that video is given in the description and you can see the link at the top right corner of this video. So without wasting any time, just go into the example. You see, this is a rectangular beam. I have drawn the cross section of the beam. This is the breadth, let it is B and this is the depth D and this is the neutral axis. You all know that I that is moment of inertia about neutral axis is B B cube by 12 for a rectangular cross section and beam. Shear stress formula is VQ by IV. V is the shear force at which cross section you want to determine the shear stress. I moment of inertia of neutral axis be the be the width of section and Q. This Q is the first moment of area below or above a level where shear stress value is required. Now we have to choose a area, we have to choose an area at some distance from the neutral axis and have to calculate the Q value for this. Let this area starts at a distance of Y from the neutral axis. This is D by 2. So what is Q? Q is the integration y dA that is the first moment of area. What is the first moment of this area is area of this shaded region into its Cg distance from the neutral axis. So what is this area? V into this distance is d by 2 minus y. So the area is v into d by 2 minus y. It is the area. Now we have to multiply this with this distance, the CG distance of the area. Let's calculate it. It is y plus half of this distance. y plus half of this distance. So it is the distance is d by 2 minus y by 2. So y plus d by 4 minus by 2. 
so you get so you get d by 4 plus y by 2 it is a cg distance so you have to multiply these d by 4 plus y by 2 we are taking up as a common d by 2 plus y so d by 2 into d square by 4 minus y square So you have got the cube and what is small q the shear stress it is b by i b into q so v at a particular section is constant i is constant b is constant so this portion is constant the only variable is q as this is variable with the square of y so what is the distribution of this q with respect to y now you see this is the q when the y is varying from this neutral axis y increases in this direction from 0 to d by 2 and also in this direction from 0 to d by 2 so at y equal to 0 the q is maximum as y equal to d by 2 q becomes 0 so from this equation you see the equation is square parabolic let's draw the distribution from the extreme edges y equal to d by 2 so the shear stress will be 0 as at y equal to 0 shear stress is maximum so the distribution of the shear stress will be like this and will be symmetric here so this is the shear stress distribution of the rectangular cross section let's find out the maximum value so q equal to vq by IB. We have to calculate Q max. So it will be capital Q max B by IB into Q max. So where is Q max? At y equal to 0. The equation was B by 2 d square by 4 minus y square. So d by 2 into d square by 4 minus y square put y equal to 0 so you get d by i b into b by 2 into d square by 4 b got cancelled put the value of i which is b d cube by 12 into d square by 8 so you get b by bd into 12 
by 8. It is nothing but 3 by 2 B by BD. You see, the rectangular area is BD. So, B by BD is nothing but the average shear stress. So, Q max which is the maximum shear stress is 3 by 2 into average shear stress. This is a very uh, important proof. Uh, we have derived the shear stress distribution of a rectangular cross-sectional beam in this video. In the next video, we will do the shear stress distribution of a circular plate and also derive the formula. Hope you like this video. Then like this video, share with your friends, comment in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Happy learning.